Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing some sticker organizing. I wanted to share with you guys how I'm organizing my stickers. Um, these are the stickers that I make and sell for my shop. Uh, but this is also applicable if you are just a sticker collector, if you are really into decorative planning and you just have a lot of stickers or scrapbooking, any kind of thing like that. Um, this could also be used for other things, but um, obviously I'm focusing on stickers and how this method has really, really helped me to keep everything organized and fulfill my orders faster. So if you're interested in checking this out, uh, be sure to stick around, give this video a like, thumbs up, whatever y'all call it nowadays. Uh, subscribe if you have not. And uh, yeah, we'll just get into it. So basically I have been searching for some way to organize my stickers for a long time. Uh, I opened my shop in November of 2021, but prior to that, I, you know, I've always been a sticker collector. I've always had a lot of stickers and they just end up like all over the place. Like I have, you know, one little like tin, you know, with like a top on it that has certain stickers. And then I have like another little basket that has some and then a folder that has some different ones. And it just becomes very difficult for you to find what you're looking for. Um, and so, you know, obviously with having the shop now and with, you know, having a lot of orders, which I'm super grateful for, and just adding more and more designs, it has become really difficult for me to organize my stickers and do it in a way where when I go to fulfill an order that it just is easy for me, you know, like if I get an order for one, you know, matte finish black, where are you drum head sticker, as you can see there in the bottom, right? <laughs> um, you know, prior to this, like I had, I know it's hard to believe, but I had these little like holographic Ziploc bags and I had all of the matte finish drum head stickers in one, the glossy finish in another, and I would just have to pull them all out and look through them. And it was kind of like a, a complete nightmare. But at first it wasn't a big deal because I wasn't getting a lot of orders. I didn't have that many designs. And you know, I am primarily a made to order shop. I just, when I print stickers, if somebody orders, you know, one specific design, I'm not printing just one. I'm printing a whole sheet. So then I put whatever I have left away and then I end up with a stockpile sometimes. And now that I'm doing in-person markets, which I just did my first one, and I'm going to have a separate video telling you guys the good, the bad, and the ugly, um, you know, how to, you know, like my tips, things that I've learned uh, just from doing my first one, things that I would change. And then tips for you guys, if you want to sell your art or your products or anything that you make at a market and you feel like you are too anxious to do it, or you just don't think you are capable of doing it, um, I want to tell you that you are and uh, just kind of share what I've learned. Um, but you know, now that I'm going to be doing more in-person markets, it really is uh, vital for me to have a good way to not only organize them, but also store them and keep them safe in transport. You know, because prior to this, I just, I mean, I did have those Ziploc bags and yes, they're closed and whatever. But then when you get there and you go to set up, it's like, they're all just in a pile and you don't know what is what and you got to like organize them and sort them out. Ain't nobody got time for that. This last market that I just did, which again was my first one, it was, <laughs> it was 98 degrees and it felt like 101, 102. It was one of the most miserable, humid days that I have experienced in a long time. It was rough. Uh, and so being able to set up as quickly as possible is very crucial in situations like that, where whether it's really hot or it's, you know, maybe it's windy or you're afraid it's going to start raining or it's super cold, like whatever it is, it's really good to be able to just pull the stuff out and set up as quickly as you can. So this has really helped me. So what is this system? Well, I found a person on TikTok and of course, as usual, I went to look for the video that I swore I had, had saved and I can't find the creator. So if I end up finding it, I will put a link to their video. So, you, you know, I'd like to give credit where credit's due. Um, but if I can find it, I will put a link in the description of this video. And uh, I just, you know, I TikTok is very helpful for me to find, you know, tips from other um you know, people who are selling at markets, other people pursuing, uh, you know, being either a full-time artist or maybe they're a part-time artist and um, they, you know, they're doing in-person shows or they're selling on their website or whatever it is. I get a lot of tips 
and I like to share tips that, that I have as well, as far as like making stickers, just the different things that I do as far as packaging and stuff like that. So I think TikTok is a really good community for small business owners or those who are thinking about it because they're, there's just a lot of people that are willing to just not gatekeep and just share the things that they've learned. And that's really important, especially when you're first getting started. It's so important to just see what other people are doing and get inspiration. And so I found this person and they said, hey, sticker organizing tip for markets. These are coin organizers. And so these are meant for people who collect coins, uh, which funnily enough is something I was really into when I was young. Um, me and my dad, it was kind of like a thing we did together was, you know, collect coins. But that's what these little pouches are for. I found them on Amazon and I will put the link in the description um, in case you're interested in checking them out. But I think these are absolutely perfect. Another thing I really like about these particular pouches is that you can buy like different grid formations. So for this one, because I know what size most of my stickers are, I wanted to do, you know, you've got the, you've got three like on the left and three on the right in like, you know, rows or whatever. And I thought that this would be perfect, but there are ones where the actual like individual pockets are smaller. So if you have things that are smaller, you could fit more in each sheet. I found them to be pretty affordable. And actually after I got my first um, set in, I placed another order for more because I realized, you know, I wanted to make sure they were going to work for me. And when they did and I filled them all up, I was like, okay, time to order some more. But they are just absolutely wonderful. And here's what I like about them. So as you can see, I'm flipping up the, the little, like, uh, the hell is it called? The lip, the tab, whatever on the back. And you, you can actually close them. So it has like a little, a little strip where you can, uh, put the flap underneath it. It's really hard for me to describe this, but you can hopefully see what I'm doing here. Um, and so it keeps them secure. So when you're on the go, even though this particular binder that I have doesn't have like a closure, doesn't have like a snap or Velcro or anything, these are secure. Like they're not going to fall out. So if I held this upside down and just shook it, they're not going to come out because of the way that this is designed. I absolutely love it. I think it's perfect. And I'm just huge shout out to that TikToker. Again, if I find the link, I'll, I'll put it in the description box because I really want to give them credit for this. I'm sure they're not the only person that has done this, but they're the one I found it through. So, um, but I am just, I'm really happy with this system and I think it's going to work super well for me. So I wanted to share it with you guys in case you have a shop, if you sell stickers or anything kind of small like this, uh, it could be, you know, really beneficial for you. Or like I said, if you're just a sticker collector, if you, um, are like me and you are really into planning and journaling and scrapbooking and you just collect a lot of stickers or if you you know some people just collect them like just to look at them you know I talked to some customers at the in-person market they were like oh god well I'm gonna have to get two because I want to use one and I want to keep the other one you know I'm the same way I've always been like that um stickers are a really great way and I, I have another video coming on this ways to use stickers and why I think they're so awesome like <laughs> I really think they're amazing and there's so many uses for them and so many benefits of making stickers for whether it's your business. Like if like in my case, you know, the, the main thing that my business sells is stickers with, you know, that I design myself. But if you have a, I don't know, a, a cupcake, <laughs> like a bakery or something like having stickers to promote your business is just amazing. If you make art and you're selling art prints, you got to make them into stickers too, because it's just, it, I'm not going to go any further because I'm going to make, <laughs> I'm going to make a whole separate video about this, but I love stickers. Uh, so I guess I'm in the right business here. So, um, yeah, that's, uh, this is my new system. And the, the actual binder itself is literally just a binder from Dollar Tree. Um, I've had it for quite a while <laughs> and I got it originally to hold like sticker sheets. This was before I had my own shop. Um, I got it to hold sticker sheets when, you know, I'm just trying to organize my planner stickers and stuff like that, that I purchased from other shops. And I had just like the little Avery, you know, clear pocket sheets or whatever. And the problem with those is like, you know, 
if you are moving it and you tilt it the wrong way, everything goes flying out. That's why I love these so much. And so, um, you know, the, the binder itself is nothing to write home about. It's very inexpensive. Uh, you know, it's kind of flimsy and I would like to eventually upgrade to something a little nicer. Maybe something that has like a, a snap closure or something, but for now, this works just fine. And I used some elastic to make a little band, uh, which you'll see at the end. Uh, I made a little band to just wrap around it to keep it closed. And, you know, it gets the job done. Or you could put Velcro. I've got some Velcro strips. I might do that as well. You know, whatever works. Uh, but this really worked well for me at the market because when I got there and, you know, like I said, it was super hot and I'm trying to set up and it was really nice to be able to just flip through and see all of my designs, see which ones I wanted to put out initially. I had room to display most all of them, but there were a few that I just didn't have room and I had to wait for some things to sell so that I could go in and add those. Um, it was just really, really nice to have them organized. And as you can see, I have little tabs on the side, the color tabs. Uh, those are just some dividers that also are from Dollar Tree. I ended up uh, labeling them as well. And so the way that I have it done is in the front for that first section under the first tab, I have my um, waterproof vinyl stickers. So I just have those all together. And then this section right here is the waterproof vinyl drum head stickers. These are because because I have so many drum head stickers and those are my most popular item in my shop. I wanted to have a separate section for those and just be able to quickly flip to what I need. And then obviously if it's not there, I create them. That's the beauty of it. And then the next section I have uh, for clear stickers, you know, I have clear stickers as well. Again, for people who do journaling, scrapbooking, planning, uh, not, you know, people who aren't looking for something that's waterproof or like a water bottle or whatever. Um, I have a lot of clear stickers that a lot of my customers love for planning and journaling. So I put those in a separate section and, you know, so on and so forth. So this is really working great for me. I hope that, uh, you know, this will reach somebody who decides to do it because or do something similar because it has really taken a lot of stress off of me both for packing orders and also just keeping my stuff organized and it just makes it so much easier so I think this is a, a brilliant way to organize stickers and I hope that you guys will find it beneficial if you like this video again please give it a thumbs up be sure to subscribe to my channel if you have not um, follow me on Instagram TikTok all that stuff, links are in the description. It's shop.cassiemakesart, pretty much on everything. I'm also on threads now. Don't really know what I'm doing there, but the beauty is nobody else does either because it's brand new. And I'm really just trying to use it. Uh, just, I'm trying to have fun with it, you know? There's so much pressure on all these social media platforms to just like, you gotta schedule all your stuff out. You gotta make sure you're posting every day. And you're promoting your products and you're doing this and this. Sometimes I just wanna like have fun and that's kind of how I'm using threads. And it looks like other people are doing that too, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I'll have links to everything in the description as, you know, including my shop, if you're interested in checking that out. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope this was helpful. And uh, yeah, hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.